Welcome to this joint conversation between me, Kate MacDonald, Handheld Press, and Lucinda Gosling of the Mary Evans Picture Library. We're going to be talking about book covers because a lawful lot of the Handheld Press book covers come from Mary Evans. So what we're going to do is just go through the book covers and we're going to start with Ernest Brammer, What Might Have Been. Now, this was our first book and it was our first cover. And honestly, I can't remember why I went to Mary Evans. Have you got any idea? Do I do know? know, I do know. Oh, we, good. Got, Tell me. we got to know each other on Twitter. Mm -hmm. And then I came and gave a paper at your conference at Reading you University. You did, yes. And talked good. about the ILN archive specifically mm. as part of Mary Evans and showed a lot of pictures and, you know, I've, I share pictures on Twitter and things. So I think it, somehow I'd obviously um, <laughs> <laughs> managed to m make a, a small impression, which is good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so that was like, OK, so I obviously got in touch with you and said, we have this book. Um, here's my new company and it has no books yet. We're looking for a cover which involves a typewriter, an Edwardian office. And I was also interested in flying machines. And I have been looking at the British Library um picture library for mm. flying machines but they were all far too old or far too complicated so i came to you looking for a typewriter and you brought me typewriters yeah yeah and I, I thought what was really interesting about this picture is i think you said you've used this on your bag as well you know your yes, sort of giveaway yeah. bag mm. I, I mean this picture is actually taken from a royal barlock typewriter advert mm -hmm. from 1900 and what's really interesting about it is it's showing the hallmarks of graphic design at the time in where, you know, there were there was a real love affair with the artistic poster yeah. and it was becoming much more, posters were becoming much more graphic and simplistic. And this is wonderful contrast of colours, you know, very simple colour palettes that all these poster artists were using. And that sort of style was being replicated across marketing so it's been used for an advert like that you know and I, I don't know who the artist is and actually the illustration itself is a little bit crude and naive isn't it, mm, it is. I I quite like that I think it makes it a bit offbeat a bit edgy. yeah and there's something odd about there's no border to the man's jacket because the back <laughs> of his jacket's all black and it just bleeds into the black background which is quite disconcerting if you focus on that but the yeah. woman, yeah, the woman's head is the focus because it's got this um, nimbus of light because it's important that her hair doesn't disappear. Otherwise, she's just as ghostly. No, face. absolutely. Yeah. But it, it, no, I think it's, uh, uh, you know, it, it works, doesn't it? It does. And it's so good. I mean, as you said, we when we started to think about doing tote bags, we were looking what picture, what covers have we got that will work on a tote bag? And our designer said, well, it has to be the Brahma or it has to be the Rose Macaulay whatnot because they've only yeah. got three colours. Yeah. And it just and it worked really well. But in the end, we used up 100 tote bags and thought these are actually environmentally unfriendly. So we didn't do any more. So they're collector's editions. Anyone there who's got are. one. I don't think you we've got one left. So, but, yeah, you know, so that, but, but what sort of, you know, attracted you to that picture is what attracted the Edwardian public to those, you know, pictures mm. they had to be seen from afar, and yeah, um, you know, they often only had could print in two colours because of you that's know, true. Yeah, and for a newspaper the, ad, you want a real high contrast. It could be yeah. just caught, catch your eyes, you flick past, and it's it's such a. I mean, the woman in the centre with a typewriter at the time that was a pretty modern in, image. Yeah, it's new technology, and for women actually doing the typing, that was also new for this period, because when the typewriter was invented in the 1890s or thereabouts, it was men. Men were doing the physical typewriting. So women were typewriting clerks and then they were the typists. So that's how the word evolved as well. Yeah, well, I suppose that's um, an instance of advertising wanting to you know, be ahead of mm -hmm. the crowd and showing themselves to be modern. Yeah. And tapping into yeah, what people were, were doing. Yeah, I mean, it's just it's just one of those there. many hundreds and thousands of pieces of ephemera we've got at Mary Evans that yeah. sometimes finds its way <laughs> to being the perfect yeah, and solution. It's, it's, it's a good strong image and it's yeah. still selling, which is really nice. And good. it's a top novel, 